Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt. Today I'm in a racing simulator at the McLaren Technology Centre in Woking. And here's something you might not know. Britain is a leader in all sorts of industries, including Formula One. 80% of Formula One teams have bases here in the UK. 40,000 high-skill jobs, 50,000 apprentices in the automotive and engineering sectors. I'm in the driving seat for our economy. There are lots of tight corners on this course, and the tight corner for the economy right now is high inflation. But after we've dealt with that, what's our racing strategy to become one of the most prosperous economies in Europe? Enterprise, education, employment, everywhere. Let's look at one of those E's, education. You can't build aerodynamic rear wings like this without strong math skills. And you can't construct the carbon fibre composites that a car like this needs without a first-rate technical education. As a country, we need to keep accelerating improvements in school education. And we're doing well. Since 2015, we've actually moved up nine places in the global league table for maths and English. But we need to do even better because the most prosperous countries in the world are the best educated. With our brilliant education secretary, 2.3 billion pounds of extra funding in the autumn statement and more reforms, we can deploy our DRS and overtake the rest of the pack. A university degree shouldn't be the only way to get into these exciting new industries. McLaren is a shining example of this, where they are upskilling their workforce with apprenticeships to support their advanced research and hand-built manufacturing. Better skills will mean we can grow our economy and put more money into precious public services like the NHS. The incredible innovations they develop here for Formula One and other high-performance cars including making the cars super lightweight and more fuel efficient, will eventually feed into our everyday lives. These innovations can only happen with a great education. And that's why education is one of the four pillars of our plan to grow the economy.